Hey guys, Chef Fox here again. So we've just finished up a big pot of chicken stock. It really came out nicely. But it's studies like that, that we, it makes us aware that we need to be able to reduce the temperature of this and get it through the temperature danger zone from 135 to 41 as quickly as possible. So how do we do that? Well, we may have some really expensive equipment like glass chillers, but they take up a lot of space and they're really expensive. So there are other methods that we can use. Hearing about the excuses where restaurants may have had a large pot of chili that was out from the night before and it's still not down to refrigerated temperature, it's completely unacceptable. It's really simple. You just have to follow some simple steps to get that temperature down very, very rapidly. So we have two hours to get it from 135, the top of the temperature danger zone, down to 70, about room temperature. And then after that, then it can go in the refrigerator. We have four more hours to get it down to refrigerated temperature, 41 or below. So how do we do that? We're gonna work our way through, we're gonna do a simulation. I have three pots right here with boiling water in them. All three of those pots have exactly the same volume of water in each of them. And we're gonna do three different methods. One, we'll just switch it off and let it sit on top of the warm stove. Number two, we're gonna spread it out. Number three, we're gonna ice bath it. So let's see which way works best and give ourselves some more options to make this work. Step number one, let's spread it out. The more surface area, the quicker it's gonna cool itself down. Step number two, get the lid off, and let's get the ice down. Always remember with these methods, you still need to give it a stir so that you dissipate the heat because around the edges it may be cooling down very quickly but the center needs to be moved around to disperse that heat. And with our last part here, we're just gonna leave it with the lid on just like some of those restaurants would with that big pot of chili just to see how, how long it takes for it to cool down. We spent about 30 minutes now, every now and again, just giving this a little bit of a stir to help to dissipate the heat that's in here. So after we spread this make-believe chili out, let's have a look at our thermometer reading now. So after 30 minutes, we're right around 127 Fahrenheit. So that means we've gone from about two, probably about 205, we were pretty close to boiling, um, all the way down to 127 in just 30 minutes. So we're allowed two hours to get it down to room temperature, about 70, we are well on the way. Now we're gonna take a look at the one that we have in the water bath. So after 30 minutes, we can see right here, we're on 67 degrees. We are below the 70 degree mark. This can now go into the refrigerator. So if this was a pot of chili, 30 minutes, it may take a little longer if you've got some compacted chili in there, but it doesn't take much longer. Fact is, in way less than the two hours that's permitted, we can get it down, down to room temperature, about 70 or below, and get it in the refrigerator to get that properly chilled down. And now we'll take a look at why it is so many of these restaurants fail at cooling down their pot of chili or anything else same 30 minutes, same volume of water. We just turned it off, left the lid on, and put it at the back of the stove. 30 minutes later, it's barely even moved down. It's still at 190.8, almost 191 Fahrenheit. So you know that once it does reach the temperature danger zone, it's just gonna slowly work its way through, allowing any bacteria to just multiply like crazy. This is why restaurants fail. Don't be one of those restaurants.